For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can change the USB identification name inside of CircuitPython for your microcontroller board. So what you see right here, I have a Feather board. This happens to be a Feather RP2040 USB host. Uh, and in fact, right now in my console, you can see if I use something like TO or Disco tool uh, to see what is plugged in right now. I've got a trinket sitting over there and then I have the Feather RP2040 USB host. So that is the name that shows up uh, in programs that have access to that USB device and they want to tell you what the name is. Um, sometimes after you've created the project, you want to give it a more specific name than just the generalized microcontroller board. And that is where this boot.py comes in. Uh, what you can see here, I'm going to try to zoom this up a good bit so you can see that a little better. Uh, I have a boot.py program on the microcontroller and in it I am importing the supervisor library and then I'm using this command supervisor set USB identification. Then you can tell it a manufacturer name which is a string, a product name which is also a string, uh, and then you have these uh, vendor and product IDs. In this case, we're using the Adafruit uh, vendor ID and then just sort of a, a, a made up PID. So what I'm gonna do is resave that boot.py and I think I can just rerun, no, I'm gonna have to uh, either reset it or power cycle it. I think it's power cycle it, so I'm gonna, so now what I'm gonna do is power cycle the board this time it's gonna run that boot.py and find out that it has a new manufacturer name, new product name. Uh, so if I go and look in my console here and say disco tool, it says, oh, the product there is MIDI dude. Uh, and we can see that inside of other things like Ableton Live, uh, other programs that are accessing USB. It'll tell you a new name. So this is a really cool way that you can sort of personalize your project after you're done with some of the development. And that is how you can set the USB identification names inside of CircuitPython using boot.py. That is your CircuitPython Parsec.